Hey friends, welcome back. We're talking about finding segment lengths in circles. So when we have a chord in a circle, finding those segment lengths. Grab your notebook, you're gonna to wanna to write a quick note down. That note is this one. Actually, we're gonna write a couple of notes down, so you may need to pause the video. Basically, it just says this guy times this guy equals this guy times this guy. So write that down. We get another one, we get some secants. So for this one, what we're saying is outside times the total equals the outside times the total. So again, that's this outside bit times the total equals the outside bit times the total. And then for our third one, we have this outside bit squared equals the outside bit times the total, similar to the one right above. So let's take these rules and pause and write those down if you need to, and then we're gonna apply them. All right, so we're gonna take a look first at this guy right here, and we're gonna use our first rule. So in this case, what we have is uh, 10 times x equals eight times 15. So 10x equals, what is that? Four times 30, so it'd be 120 there. Divide both sides by 10. Lob off our zeros there, we get x equals 12. And if we go and we look at that, it seems kind of reasonable, being that this is 10 and 12, eight and 15, uh, it just makes, you know, you don't wanna get something that looks like 27. So we, we found for that guy. All right, let's take a look at this one. Now on this guy, let me use a different color here. Remember I said outside squared equals outside times the total. So outside squared, that's this bit, equals the outside, which is eight, times the total. And so our total is three X minus two plus eight because we have to include that bit. So we wanna do the total here. So that's gonna be 144 equals eight times three X minus, or plus six. Negative two and eight will give us six. Let's go ahead, I could distribute that eight, but I can also divide and that'll make it a little easier. And I'm gonna flip it around as I do the same thing, uh, as I divide too. So three X plus six is this part right here. And then we have 144 divided by eight gives me 18. Minus six from both sides, we get three X equals 12. Divide both sides by three, and we get x equals four. First rule of geometry is always reread the question because is our, have we answered the question? We have not. We said x equals four, but it tells us to find the length of BD. So the length of BD is going to be eight plus three x, and we already know x is four, so three times four minus two. So BD equals three plus 12 minus two. And so that's gonna be 10 right there. And so we get B, D equals 18. So there is your correct answer. So always make sure to go back and read the, read the question. Okay, now looking at this one, remember we say outside times the total equals outside times the total. So we have uh, eight times 18 because outside here times the total equals the outside, which is nine times the total, which is two X minus 13 plus nine. That's the total for this whole thing. So we have uh, eight times 18 gives me 144 equals nine. And then we have two X minus four. Now, again, you could distribute that nine, but I'm just gonna divide. I think that's easiest. Uh, and that will give us 16. So these guys cancel out. I'm left with two X minus four equals 16. Okay, at this point I can add four to both sides and that will give me plus four plus four, I get two X equals 20, which means if I divide those by two, I get X equals 10. Okay, so X equals 10, go back, read the question. It says find EC. EC is this whole bit here. So we're gonna say EC equals two X and instead of X, we're gonna put in 10 minus 13 plus nine. So I did this bit plus this big bit here. So I get EC equals 20 minus 13 plus nine. So that gives me seven plus nine, which gives me EC equals 16. So my correct answers are 16 right there. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, great work and we'll see you next time.